Hello, I'm M. Hood. I'm in the uh, Sabine National Forest. This park is called Indian Mounds. It's on Toledo Bend Reservoir here in Texas. I hitchhiked here from New Orleans in Louisiana. There's no power and no water out in this park, though I think there used to be years ago, but because of federal cuts, it's pretty basic. And I'm the only camper. Got here yesterday. I have to go to town to charge up. Well, really, I'm not going that far. Just down the street, a few miles from here, is a barbecue joint that I want to check out. So why don't you come with me? Let's go eat some food and get some power in our tech here. Well, I've been walking for a few miles, a little over two, maybe three. The two boaters that were here, when I started walking, I've already left and passed me up. They just uh, looked at me, they didn't even wave back. <laughs> this is the entrance to the park right up here. <laughs> There's absolutely no one in the park. It's midweek, September. Today is the 25th. <laughs> I only need to go three miles up the road to the barbecue joint. I think it's three miles. I'm starting to feel like I might be walking those three miles. Hope not. See this is the end of the road. You can either, the end of the paved road, either go straight to wherever that goes or into the park. So, since there's no one in the park, how far do I have to walk before I encounter people? <laughs> this is what is hitting my uh, resolve, my constitution. It's hitting it hard. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> this is a uh, Wednesday, and I started my trip from New Orleans this uh, this past Saturday. I'm still not over that. I'm still pretty tired, so I don't know how far I can walk. We'll see. I'm pretty strong, I think. I don't feel that strong right now. Well, I've walked down the road about a little over a half mile, and this is the second rough looking road that I. Actually, that one's paved, isn't it? The one before this wasn't. A red truck came out of here when I was up there on top of the hill and it went in this direction so I think my chances are gonna be okay I've already had a couple of people pass me up I'm just gonna keep walking I really want some barbecue and I don't want to charge my phone barbecue sounds good I didn't think I was gonna make it here but I did good old uh, coot named Jimmy Jimmy Lou gave me a ride I was in, then I was out. Bad luck day. Credit card machine is down. Uh, I don't know where to go now. Well, luckily, I, I'm already back. A couple of ladies, a mother and daughter team, gave me a ride here. It was actually that red truck I saw come off of that other road I showed you. They were on their way back. No barbecue for me today. So we're going to do some fishing, and I'll show them to you. The mother and daughter team, Pam and Brittany, Pam's the mom and Brittany's the daughter, just came back and brought me two burgers, some mayonnaise, and some cheese, and some bread. Because they, they knew that I was a little put out by not being able to get barbecue today. I was just about to make a cast over here. We're going to uh, fish on right off the bottom with a night crawler on one of my big poles. Brought three. I'm going to see if we can get us a cat. If we're lucky, maybe we'll pull up a nice Gasper Goo. We're going to uh, enjoy these burgers too. I am in a good mood now. Oh man. I'm going to catch some fish. Mmm. 
sometimes you just never know how awesome people are going to be after you deal with a, a lot of cold shoulders. I mean, I'm a total stranger to those people, but they are sweet as pie to me. Maybe it's because, you know, I'm a nice enough guy. I come across people nice. I am from Texas. I don't know. I'm, I don't think it has much to do with me. I think it has more to do with them. They're just nice people. There are nice people in this world. But, you know, we tend to hear about all the bad people more often than the nice people. And the nice people just get like a short little puff piece on the evening news. Or we're, we're making fun of them. Well, this burger is really good. Let's catch some fish. Well, the fishing was uneventful. So, I decided what I really need to do is just sit here and rest for a day or so. Probably uh, for the rest of the day. And then I'm going to go into town, maybe tomorrow, and charge the batteries. I'm still worn out from the trip here. And it's not easy. There's a lot of walking involved still, but uh, the pack's not on, so it's easier. But I need to gather my strength, so this is the end of this video. See you next time.